just feel Travis pull me by my jacket and swings me behind him. My heart's spinning so fast. I feel like I want to cry. I feel so jittery. Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna fucking kill us. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kristen. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the time I almost got robbed and I was held at gunpoint. This story takes place back in my hometown of Sacramento. It was the summer before I went to college and I remember that because I was kind of seeing this guy. We weren't Dating. Like he wasn't my boyfriend, but we were seeing each other and just hanging out and we had a crush on each other So yeah, um, for the sake of this video, we're gonna name him Travis Around this time I was going to You know a couple kickbacks and parties here and there and we had a lot of mutual friends because we went to high school together I think he's a year or two older than me. He actually graduated with my older sister, I think. So when we would go to like kickbacks and parties and stuff, um, people kind of knew who both of us were. So I, I really don't think this story is gonna be that long, honestly. Um, I just wanted to get to like the moral of the story. So there are these two girls and they're both like mutual friends of ours. They're like a year or two younger than me. So like three or four years younger than Travis. So I think he hit them up asking if they wanted to smoke or one of them they hit each other up asking if they wanted to smoke so Travis asked me if I wanted to smoke and at that time I did smoke but I didn't really smoke a lot like I would just do it if I felt like it if I really wanted to but most of the time I would turn it down the two girls pick us up and we're like smoking and we're hotboxing and we're just getting high as fuck when I'm high I cannot stay awake for the life of me. I legit fucking fall asleep. So I was falling asleep and Travis takes a picture of me. I don't know why. And of course I'm like half asleep. I'm just like nodding off in my chair. Like my head's probably like this. And he like snaps a picture of me and he starts laughing like hella bad. And he starts showing the other girls, oh my God, look at her face, look at her face. And I didn't see it, but I was just like so mad and embarrassed at that point. I wanted him to delete it and I kept telling him, delete the picture, delete the fucking picture now. And he was like, no, it's my phone. I'm gonna do what I want with it. And so he actually kept the picture. And so that kind of put me in like bitchy mode for the rest of the night. And at that time I could not like let things go very easily. And sometimes I still can't, but especially back then. And I held grudges, I would give people the silent treatment if I was mad at them. The girls ended up dropping us back off at his place and we walk into the house and I'm just like super upset with him. Whatever, wouldn't let the situation go. He's sitting on his bed and I'm like sitting on a chair um, and facing him and he's just like holding my hands like oh what's wrong, like what's wrong and I was like nothing, nothing. He was like, oh, is it because of the picture? And I was like, yeah. He's like, do you want me to del delete the picture? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, do you want to see it though? Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny. I'm like, no, like just delete it. <laughs> so I never actually even saw the picture because I was just too embarrassed and like couldn't let go of my pride. He deletes the picture or whatever. And he's like, so should I just drop you off? Because, you know, I wasn't really talking to him. wasn't really interacting with him. And I was like, yeah. So his uncle actually lives two houses down and he would use his uncle's car. So because it was wasn't used because those girls dropped us off his car or his uncle's car was still at his uncle's house so we walk outside and it's really dark it's really cold because it's fucking 2 or 3 a.m and we're just walking very very slowly we're like holding hands but i'm walking very slowly and just throwing a fit pretty much and i'm like looking down looking really sad and these two people a man and a woman start walking in our direction they're probably like a hundred feet away but i see them because you know like a little shadow in the distance but i can't really make out faces at this point and i thought hmm, that's kind of weird you know it's like 3 a.m why are people like walking around at 3 a.m but then again here we are walking to our car at 3 a.m so i didn't think about it too much and they walk a little bit closer now i'm getting to see like a little bit of their face but we pass each other right so they're like oh you guys got any dope and we're like no we've already passed each other right so we're walking in this direction they're walking in this direction and he's like 
oh, do you guys have any dope? And we're like, no, we don't have any. And he's like, oh, you guys don't smoke? You guys don't smoke? You guys don't smoke weed? And then we're like, no, I mean, we do, but we don't have any. And so we just keep walking in our direction. They keep walking that way. We're literally about to get to the car. We're probably like probably 20 feet away. They turn around and they're like, hey, 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 I have a question. Travis keeps turning around. And I'm like, no, like, let's keep walking. Let's keep walking. Hey, I have a question. Hey, hey. Stop, hey, I have a question. And I'm like, no, let's just keep walking, let's keep walking. Like, this is a bad feeling. And Travis stops and he goes, what? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, why'd you have to stop? The guy goes, yo, I'm trying to ask you a question. You're just gonna be rude and keep walking. And so he goes, I'm sorry, man, it's just late. Like, we're just trying to go home. What do you need help with? He goes, oh, okay, like, no problem. Like, we're just lost, you know, we're not from here. We're just visiting and we're trying to get to this certain place. Can you please give us directions? And then Travis is like, oh, where do you need to go to? And he's like, oh, we're just trying to get to this street and this street. And we're just trying to find a place to stay right now, blah, 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 blah. I don't really know what was said. And then Travis is like, okay, well, if you go all the way down to the street, make a left and then make your first right and then blah, 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 right? He was giving directions. And then the guy turns to me and starts talking to me. And this is when I see like all his features. This is probably like a 40 year old, um, I couldn't really see because it was dark. I don't know. I couldn't tell if he was Mexican or if he was black or he could have been mixed. But Travis swears that he was black. I don't fucking know. I think he had like a bunch of freckles on his face. Um, I think he was wearing a hat or something on his head. I don't really remember. This was five years ago. Um, but I noticed that he had like very, very like fucked up teeth. Like his teeth were just like gross looking. Um, kind of like a crack at it. You know how their teeth will be all like disintegrated and just fucked up. He was a pretty short guy. He wasn't that much taller than me and I'm 4'11". The girl was a little bit taller than him so she was probably like... No, she was pretty tall. She was pretty fucking tall. And I want to say she's in her 30s, 40s as well. She had strawberry blonde hair and the only reason why I was able to see that was because of the street lamp. Um, and you know how the street lamp is kind of orangey? So I could be wrong. Her hair could be actually blonde, but it looked like a strawberry blonde because of the orange light. Yeah, she was a white lady. She wasn't like huge, but she also wasn't skinny. She was just kind of like, but she wasn't normal size either. She was like a little bit on the bigger side, like big boned, I guess you could say. And he was a little bit like a little chunky too. I think he had a backpack on and I don't really remember what she was wearing, but I feel like she was wearing a skirt or a dress with like a puffy jacket, like basically looked kind of like a prostitute if I'm gonna be real. Um, so then Travis starts talking to the lady, give, trying to give her directions. He starts saying stuff like, oh my God, we got lost, you know, so we just need help trying to find directions, you know what I mean? And I'm like, well, he's kind of telling you the directions right now, so you should probably pay attention to him. Travis stops talking and then they go, okay, well, thank you guys so much. I'm holding my purse at this moment, right? By the way, I have no idea where that purse went, but it was one of those satchel kind of bags. It was all black and then it had silver studs on the front like in a pattern and it has like the string where you can tie it tight and then you put it over your shoulder. During this time, they were asking me, oh, so you guys don't have dope? And we're like, no. They're like, oh, you, do you guys have any weed? We're like, no. And they're like, oh, do you guys smoke though? Come on, you guys have to smoke. Like everybody smokes now. They're like, oh, I mean, yeah, we do, but like we don't have any on us. And they're like, oh, okay. And then the lady goes, so this is what's gonna happen. And I don't know why at that moment when she said that, I was like, <laughs> what? Like, I'm so confused. Why are you acting like you know us? Like trying to be all like friendly, you know what I mean? But then she says, you're gonna give me this. And she grabs my purse by the strings and she starts tugging on it. I'm like, what, what, wait, what's happening right now? So I'm like, what are you doing? Give me back my purse. In my head at that time, I was like, why are you touching my shit, bitch? Get the fuck off my purse. This is my purse. So I was like fighting with it with her. And keep in mind, she's this huge lady, right? She's tall, she's a lot bigger than me. If she punched me in the face, I probably would've knocked out. Um, but we were like going at it. She's like, give me the purse, give me the purse. And I'm like, what are you doing? Give it back to me. And Travis gets behind me and he's like pulling. He's like, hey, stop that, stop that. Like, give her her purse, right? So then I look over to the guy and he pulls out something. He either, I couldn't tell because everything happened so fast. It was either a knife or a gun. I just feel Travis pull me by my jacket because I was wearing like a huge sweater. Pulls me and swings me behind him. And I'm like, and I kind of hit the car, right? We were literally on Travis's uncle's driveway. And... 
at that time I was like oh my god this is not happening oh my god this is not happening this is not happening oh my god and I started freaking the fuck out and my heart's beating so fast I feel like I want to cry I feel so jittery I'm like oh my god oh my god like this is not happening this is not happening right now like oh my god they're gonna they're gonna fucking kill us like they're gonna stab us they're gonna shoot us um and literally like you can hear my voice shaking like that um <laughs> and I literally thought I was gonna die I thought that he was gonna shoot us I thought he was gonna stab us whatever the fuck he had in his hand uh so I'm <laughs> like I'm like shaking up right now I'm on the car kind of right I'm like leaned over the car because he just swung me around him and um I actually got my purse back like I was holding my purse right and I had everything inside my purse I had my wallet and then I had my phone but that was like practically it and, and my coin purse and I didn't really have anything like valuable besides my phone if anything I would have grabbed from that purse I would have grabbed my phone but I couldn't because it was like tied inside there um, so I couldn't like call the cops or anything. I just didn't have the time to open my purse, go inside, grab my phone, unlock my phone, call 911. Like it was just too much. And I was just worried for my life at that time. I'm behind Travis and Travis goes, okay, calm down. Like, let's just, you know, just put that down. And the guy is like following us up the fucking driveway. And now I'm like backed up all the way onto the garage door. And I'm like looking to my right and to my left. And I'm like, fuck, like, there's nowhere to run, like I can't run. If he has a gun, he could just shoot me. Um, and I couldn't see what he had because I was just too nervous to even look. I was like, oh my God, like if I run this way, like if he has a gun, he could shoot me. I can't run that way. Like I don't want to leave Travis behind. We're in between two cars. Uh, there's a little bit of space. So if I run this way, I can go to the door of the house. So he goes, go to the door of the house, ring the doorbell, ring the doorbell. So then we both run and start yelling and knocking on the door. And then the man and the woman just start laughing and then walk away like hella nonchalantly just walk away we were still yelling and knocking at the door like help 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 open up open up open up open up no one went to the door for at least 10 minutes imagine he had a knife and just wanted to fucking slash our throats or stab us in the chest or if he had a gun he could have just shot us right then and there i don't know because like literally no one came to the door for 10 minutes as they walked away we were like okay i don't feel like safe right now i feel like i'm still out in the open like they could come back what if they come back so can we please like jump the fence or something and he's like okay okay so he starts jumping the fence and he's like oh can you can you jump it and i'm like i don't i don't think i don't think i can like i'm scared i'm scared he's like here just like get up on my hands get up on my shoulders because the fence was really high so i couldn't really like climb onto it and i was scared because if they came back then i don't know i probably would have been stuck and so he was trying to help me up but i couldn't do it and i was just like i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared like i can't do it and i was like really trying to get on his shoulders and everything and then at that time his little nephew or something it was a two-story house so he comes at the window at the front and he's like travis he goes open the door right now open the door he goes okay 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 so then they open the door and i like go in and the uncle's like what's happening right now i just started bawling <laughs> bawling and his uncle is a correction officer so he was pissed the moment that we told him what happened and he goes out I think they grab a bat I don't know why he would grab a bat when he probably has a gun or maybe it was a gun I don't know but I'm pretty sure it was a bat so they both leave and I'm like please don't leave Travis please don't leave he goes no I'm just gonna go try to find them um so they drive off and they try to find the two people they come back probably like 20 minutes later and they're like oh we couldn't find them and I was just so upset and so scared that they were still out there because I didn't know if they were gonna try to come back we called the police 30 minutes later the police gets there and keep in mind I am still motherfucking high he's like oh the police wants to talk to you i'm like fuck they're gonna know i'm high and they're gonna get me a ticket they're gonna get me in trouble they're gonna find my ass um but no <laughs> there's a bigger situation going on so he asked me a bunch of questions like what they looked like what exactly happened if they touched me blah 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 so i was like telling him and like crying at the same time and he was just so calm like he seemed like he did not give a fuck he was just like okay like writing shit down and then he was like okay so this is what's gonna happen i'm gonna write down this ticket number or blah 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 so if you see them then you can actually take them to court and sue them and then um oh my camera's about to die he just ripped off the yellow piece of paper from his little notebook and i fold it and i put it in my purse and then after that nothing really happened they never found the people I think Travis ended up taking me home, but I don't really remember much after the police um, 
came and talked to me. The moral of the story is one, don't get mad at petty little shit like I did. Two, don't walk outside in the middle of the fucking night. If you do, avoid anyone passing your way. Three, if someone is trying to rob you, please just hand over the shit to them. Don't try to fight them. Don't try, you know, I know it's your things, but it's better to just give it over to them than risk your life and, you know, possibly get hurt or possibly even die. That was the very, um, that was probably the most traumatic thing that ever happened to me. After that, I never wanted to walk past anyone. I was scared of groups of people. I didn't want to walk past you know a group of men if i saw a group of men i would literally go walk across the street onto the other side so for the longest time i was scared of groups of people and just people in general because i never knew what they could do i never knew if they had a weapon on them but that was my story of when i almost got robbed and held at gunpoint for a knife i don't really know give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was entertaining if you liked it if um, you learn something new. Um, let me know in the comments if anything like this ever happened to you. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit your post notification button to be notified of when I post a new video. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!